Hey guys, Joshua with Kentucky Outdoors TV. Welcome back to another episode. We got a very exciting fishing trip with you all tomorrow. Hopefully we can get you some good footage, but we're heading over to Franklin, Kentucky to a small creek. It's called Drake's Creek. It's just south of Bowling Green. Did some research on the internet. It's supposed to have really good smallmouth fishing. And uh, naturally when you fish for those smallmouth, you always catch some red eye, as I called it growing up. But uh, I think most people know them as rock bass. So. Tomorrow, just want to go over real quickly what I'm using. Uh, as you can see here, the uh, Z-Man uh, TRD. It's the Finesse TRD. I usually like a green pumpkin color, a more natural color on a 1 10th ounce weedless Ned Rig head. Uh, I love this bait. Most people will tell you like, hey man, I, I hate using the Ned Rig. And I used, I used to be the same exact way, but it's pretty simple. When it comes to smallmouth fishing, they, they catch them. And these baits, as you can see, man, you can stretch them forever. I guarantee you can catch 20 fish on this. Probably more on this specific plastic because they're made so well with the Elastec and they just do not tear, they do not break. So that's one thing I'm gonna be starting with in the morning. And I do believe it'll produce some fish. Uh, second thing, I'm gonna be fishing this right here. This is just a Bass Pro Shop popper is all it is. Very, very simple bait. I think they're three dollars. I usually buy five or six of them when I go into Bass Pro Shop because uh, a few years ago, I tried one out, smallmouth fishing out in North Carolina in a river called uh, the New River, and man, it was like every other cast they could not resist it, and it it made me a believer in it. And every time I've took poppers, it's always produced a lot of topwater fish early in the morning. So that's another thing I'm going to be using. We'll be using it on ten pound braid. A lot of people using like using heavy braid. Uh, on like a heavy a heavy action rod and usually I do do that if I'm using if I'm fishing on a big lake I'm being a small river small creek tomorrow so I'm just going to fish it on 10 pound line with a 7 foot medium action rod and I know plus people are like ah oh, you can't do that but yeah I'm, on a river you can I really do believe that and I, it's never failed me so that's the two things I'm going to start with tomorrow I'm not sure what my brother's going to be fishing with yet I guess we'll see when we get there uh, hopefully we can bring y'all some good footage and I really hope y'all enjoy Hey guys, we've made it to Drake's Creek, just southwest of Bowling Green. Uh, we, this is our put-in point, put-out points about 11 miles downstream. Here's our setup for our kayaks. See if we can bring y'all some fish. There's a small one. I got a small one. Little bitty in. Red eye, fellas. Number one. There's fish. Big old rock bass, good lord, that's a monster. Well, it may not look big on camera, but I'm telling you, that thing's a little, little feisty thing. All right guys, real quick, I'm gonna show y'all something I'm using real quick. This is a Bite Me Baits, three 16 ounce. Ned head. I just picked them up about two weeks ago. I've not got the chance to try them yet. I've never actually seen a hook like this on the Neds before. Get a little closer as you can see. It's got like a bent. I don't know really what you'd call that. It's got a little curvature at the tip of the hook. 
it's a little different angle than your your normal net head hook but i'm gonna match that with a copper truce uh trd that's actually a big trd we've caught a couple of rock bass on the smaller um just a normal ned rig hook weedless one tenth ounce and then uh the green pumpkin trd so i'm gonna give these new hooks a try from bite me baits and see how it goes i'll let y'all know There's fish, fighting good. Come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a big one. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that, fellas. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Where are you going? He's gone. He's gone. Are you okay? Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, I'm coming. Is it? Yeah. I watched it all. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 all right hey guys just a little bit of an update so my gopro did die however we just caught get on a streak on this little stretch here caught about four fish i'm still using that net head made by bite me baits got this little large mouth here a little bit in a little bitty large mouth and uh a uh, copper chartreuse big trd on there and i'm literally they can't get enough of it that's four in a row uh, we're gonna get y'all some more footage i hope y'all uh enjoy it looks like one nice What? Flyers are gone. Are they? Yeah. There's one. There In the current. Come on. Fighting good. Oh, that's a that's a new, decent one. Look at there. Nice one, fellas. Decent, not bad. Really starting to piss me off. I just caught another one. Did you? I just had a bop. He's a rock bass, but there's fish. You got one? Yeah. I think it's a rock bass. Yep. <laughs> it's a big one too. Look at rock bass. Man, they're feisty. What? Yeah, we're gonna have to stop. I'll have to apply sunscreen. Or you can just give it to me and I'll do it on the boat.
That's a good one. Oh yeah. He's soaking me, boys. That's a good one, boys. We got 30, 35? 34 right now. You said you, oh, you said 19. I gotta get turned around and fish this front. I saw a good one over there. I got one. I saw it. Oh, he's running, dude. Oh, this is a good one, dude. Good one. He's fighting good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the old trick worm. Just a trick worm, man, is all it is. There's fish. Oh, wow. Awesome. Bro. Yeah. Talking about a jump. I think I just took... Woo! Another decent one, fellas. About a pound. Man, they fought. Well, while I go, you were talking about maybe we can lay down and get through there. <laughs> I would if there was room. There's fish. Swimming towards me. I got a bluegill. <laughs> Pretty little thing. Not what I'm looking for though. Your crate's not gonna fit. I don't know if they'll fit or not, John. question is, is there any fish? I'd assume yes. You do that a lot. Ooh, that's a good hit. There's another smallmouth on the watermelon red. Robo worm, aka another style of trick worm. Yeah. Big fish, John, like a really big one. Really? 
He's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's fighting good. Uh, he's not too big, but he's feisty. Yeah. He's dragging me all over the place. Look at this. Yes. Yeah. He's a good one. Yeah. You hear? <laughs> He's about to come out if I don't get him up. Oh yeah. Bro, look at the straps on him. He's beautiful. Look at that, fellas. Oh, it's beautiful. Pound and a halfer. Man, he fought good. I thought he was a lot bigger than what he was. That's beautiful. One more look. Uh-oh. <laughs> One more look. God, beautiful. Get back in that water. That's stupid. I agree. What's the point in staying mad at someone all the time? Oh, I have Hold my paddle and pull me in, damn it. What just happened? My fishing pole's gone. 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 <laughs> it's literally gone. <laughs> now I'm pissed. <laughs> now I gotta find it. Hey guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the footage from yesterday. Uh, we had a fantastic day. It was a crazy adventure. We caught 49 fish total between rock bass and smallmouth bass. Our brother ended up, as you see on the footage, flipped his kayak. What you didn't see is probably five minutes later, I thought I was gonna be very uh, brave and, and go down that same area. I flipped my kayak too, lost my GoPro. Luckily I found it, but I lost the GoPro and everything in the water on my phone. Found everything, but man, what an adventure. And then you also seen I lost a fishing pole yesterday. Uh, however, I, I wanted to show you all exactly what I was using. It went in a different direction. I didn't expect it to go. I fished with some of this stuff before. So I told you all earlier, I was gonna start with a popper and a TRD. The popper did not work. First time ever in a river fishing for smallmouth, and that popper did not get one strike on top water whatsoever. So as you see throughout the video, I kind of upscaled. I had a bigger presentation as I went along. So I started out with that small green pumpkin TRD, caught mostly some rock bass and a couple of small, small size smallmouth, and it just wasn't producing that size uh, that, I, that I was looking for yesterday. So I ended up switching, and you seen in the video earlier, this is your regular Z-Man uh, Ned Rig hook. Just your regular Ned Rig hook. And then that's a 1 10th ounce, and I changed it up to that bought me baits 316 ounce Ned Rig hook just a basically the same thing it's not weedless it's a little heavier that's one reason I couldn't stay with it too long yesterday I kept getting hung up but I did get I did get several bites and I caught several fish on this bought me baits Ned head with a copper truce uh, Z-Man big TRD so that's when I upscaled from that small finesse TRD but uh the one thing I'm gonna say about this hook is these these small z-man hooks i've got hung up a hundred times with these things and when i do you know you swarp it a couple of times trying to just pop it out of those rocks and they straighten out they tend to bend and that's that's one of the downfalls i've seen they're great hooks but they do tend to bend a lot with this hook that bought me baits and as you can see it's a must add hook it curves at the tip very sharp tip uh, i got hung up several times one reason i had to switch like i said is it's a heavier heavier hook I just wasn't fishing in deep enough of water to be using this big hook. But I did get hung several times and they did not straighten out. I pulled, I jerked trying to pop it out and these hooks never bend. So that's one thing I see that's an improvement from your, your Z-Man hooks to the Bite Me Baits is they do not bend. And I, to be honest with you, the Bite Me Bait hooks, I do like a bit better. So that's that right there. Good hooks, check them out on their website, Bite Me Baits of Kentucky, check their website out.
Uh, so moving on. So the next two things I'm gonna show you it was it was the sauce yesterday, the juice, whatever people say. Um, this was my go-to yesterday. I switched it up. I needed that bigger presentation, and I went with a Zoom trick worm, six-inch trick worm. A very simple bait to use. All I was doing was popping it up and letting it fall, or as soon as I cast it and it was falling down, they they would hit it on the fall. So this yesterday on a three alt gamakatsu uh, EWG hook, they could not resist it yesterday, and that's when I started seeing those those bigger smallmouth. And we didn't catch any three, four, five pounders. We were catching them between one and two pounds consistently, and they were getting bigger every every catch. And I used a Zoom Trick Worm. I, I ended up running out of the Mardi Gras color and I didn't realize I had the June Bug in there. So I ended up going to a Robo Worm. Same type of, uh, basically a Trick Worm is all it is, but it's a Robo Worm. You can use Strike King, any brand out there, and it's gonna get that same result. I don't think it had anything to do with the color. I think it was just that, that presentation uh, of it in the water. So, uh, moving on from that, so towards the end of the day, it was starting to get a little, the sun was going down, it was starting to, to get dark, and I seen a couple of smallmouth break surface. So I ended up switching from this Mardi Gras color, or I'm sorry, not Mardi Gras, these Zoom trick worms, to a super fluke, a Zoom super fluke. My buddy Eric Noe, when I was about 15, 16 years old in Harlan County, Kentucky, taught me how to use these things, and they're a smallmouth catcher, killer, whatever you want to say. They catch good smallmouth. I've personally caught three and a half pounders on this bait here in the rivers, creeks. Uh, but this is a great, great tool to use, great bait to use whenever you're fishing for smallmouth. And the reason I use it, I switched to it yesterday, is I love fishing these on top water. Just bringing it across the top quick, just basically walking it back and forth. And I had three fish absolutely blow up on these baits. And I'm not talking you know, that rollover on top of it. I mean, they smashed these baits right, this bait right here. All I did, same thing, I didn't even switch my hook. It's just a three alt Gamakatsu uh, EWG hook, just weightless, weightless, walking across the top of the water. And I also caught, I will say, a few by just throwing it in. I stopped getting top water bites, throwing, casting it out, letting it fall to the bottom, and they were hitting it right on the fall. So if you go to Drake's Creek, guys, two things I'm gonna tell you, or any river in that case, any river, any creek, in Kentucky specifically, and I'm sure it works everywhere else for smallmouth, but if you go to Drake's Creek, a trick worm, a fluke, and a three alt EWG hook, that is all you need to take. I will not take this big bag of tackle anymore when I go to the creeks and rivers, which I should have known better in the first place. But if you go take these two baits, it doesn't matter what brand, take these, take that hook, that EWG hook, and you will slay the smallmouth. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the footage. We had a great time yesterday, and hopefully we'll have some more stuff coming here soon. Y'all have a good one.